Next trap, temptation trap. How many times have you been scrolling through social media and an ad pops up for something you really want? You'd almost think social media could read your mind. Guess what? It can. Yeah, it's reading your mind. It's creepy, man. Social media is keeping up with everything you do and everything you search. It keeps up with what you're looking at and also how long you're looking at it. Why does social media do this, guys? Money. I had a man tell me one time, he said, Micah, I was asking him about something. I was like, why do they do it this way? Why is this going on? And he looked at me and he said, Micah, when you can't figure out the answer, follow the money. It's pretty sad. That's what our world has come to. I need you to understand, these are multi, multi, multi trillion, billion dollar organizations, right? These are the top four social media money makers, okay? Instagram's total net worth is $110 billion. YouTube is $170 billion. TikTok, $250 billion. And Facebook is almost $300 billion in net worth. How do they make this money? You know, because you're thinking, well, Micah, I didn't pay anything to be on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. It's all about advertisers. It's all about businesses. We bought Annabelle. You know, Annabelle's going to be 16 in like two weeks. Terrible. You know, she's just that tall, you know. Annabelle, when we were looking for her a car, I looked a little bit on my computer at work for a car. Amanda looked on her phone. And then it seemed like every time we'd open our phone, a car ad would pop up. Constantly. And again, that's what they're doing, guys. They're seeing what you're focusing on, what's your, what's the word I'm looking for? Pleasures are, what you want, and they're forcing it down your throat because they know that if they can get you in a weak moment, they got you. And I'm going to be honest with you. They don't care if you go in debt. They don't care. They don't care care anything about you. All they care about is making money. That's all they care about. What I need you to catch is social media has the power, and I need you to catch this word, to hack your computer or phone. Follow your activity, track it, and then place it, placing all your desires in front of them. Social media takes advantage of the vulnerability in human psychology. Y'all are like, man, that's some big words. That's right. Y'all didn't know I could, y'all didn't know I knew all that. No, I have it written down. Yes. <laughs> Notice I said the word hack, guys. The ex-president of Facebook was a former hacker. The ex-president was a former hacker. He did a lot of illegal stuff. Here's what social media has done. They can hack in your phone and in your computer and everything like they used to do, which used to be illegal, but now it's legal. It's legal now. That's what they're doing. This ex-president walked away because he saw the problems that were coming. Because it's motivating people in the wrong way. Where the temptation trap can get you the worst is if you allow it to. It will make you focus more on what you want instead of what you need. Look at Colossians 3, 2. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. Now, I'm sitting here talking about all this, and you're thinking, Micah, you know, this temptation trap and, and spending money and all that. Well, we all do it, you know, blah, blah, blah. But what this is what I need you to understand. What social media can do is it can turn you into an idolater. You start worshiping idols. You start wanting those things so bad that you're going to go after it. And instead of you picking up your Bible and reading it, you're now shopping, doing this right here. It can turn you into that. 
Now, of these traps, this is one of the ones that I feel, I'm going to make some people really mad. Um, okay, let me put it this way then. I don't really have a problem with this, okay, because I, I just don't spend money. Because I'm broke. I ain't got no money. I try to be tight because I got a daughter. I just bought a car for and We got three, three daughters, so I got three weddings. I got three colleges. I got three cars. I got all this stuff coming up. But, 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 but my wife, she kind of struggles with this temptation, you know. I mean, I get Amazon boxes every day. Every day. Here's the thing, guys. I need you to understand. It can become a problem. It can. I want to say this, and I mean this with all seriousness. I know I'm up here kidding around right now, but this is serious. How many marriages have you seen that have fallen apart because of finances? How many marriages have you seen that they've gone bankrupt, lost their home? And you think back of all the times social media put this stuff in front of you, things you didn't really need. It was just something you wanted. Ladies and gentlemen, that's pride. Set your minds on the things that are above. It's more important. 